The Sand Glider Floor Sander is three machines in one, designed to sand, edge and polish floors. It is able to sand a floor right up to the edge, eliminating the need for an edging sander. The same machine will then polish your floor by simply changing the pads. Remove all furniture, curtains and wall hangings from the room. Protect any pipework, cables and wires. Although the sand glider will collect 95% of dust, you should open windows and close and seal doors. Use a nail punch and hammer to drive protruding nail heads below the surface. You firstly need to fit the appropriate sanding discs. In general, start with a medium grade and work through to finer grades. Ensuring the sander is unplugged, carefully tilt the sander back until its handles are touching the floor. Remove any old discs from the Velcro pads and line up and fit the new discs. The disposable dust bag fits to the outlet at the upper rear of the machine and requires no tools to fit or release. The bag's inlet is fitted with stiff card which attaches to the dust extraction outlet. Take a new bag and fully unfold it. Position the bottom edge of the card onto the outlet's lower hook. Pivot the card to bring the bag's central opening over the outlet until the card and outlet are flush. Finally, lower the two tabs over the outlet clips to hold the bag in place. Plug the sander in using an RCD plug. The sand glider is designed to be used in the upright position, with all the sanding discs in contact with the floor. Do not tilt the sand glider back before switching it on, or during use. Having fitted a full set of four sanding discs, wheel the machine to the far corner of the floor, placing it as close to the corner edge as possible. Drape the cable over your shoulder to prevent it being damaged by the sanding action. To switch the machine on, you must firstly pull the lock-off lever up. This lever prevents the on-off lever from being accidentally operated. Then squeeze and hold the on-off lever to start the motor. If you release the on-off lever, the machine will stop. Once the sander motor reaches the operating speed, slowly walk backwards, manoeuvring the unit over the floor's surface. The machine will try to move around when in contact with the floor, so be prepared. Try to overlap the previous strip to ensure that you don't have unsanded areas. The slower you move the sander, the greater the removal, so keep a close eye on the surface finish and adjust your speed as necessary. Do not exert pressure on the machine, let it work at its own pace. Periodically stop and inspect the condition of the sanding discs. Discs should be replaced when the abrasive is worn, damaged or clogged. Once the entire floor area has been sanded, release the on-off lever to switch the sander off. Before fitting the next grade of disc, thoroughly vacuum the floor and give a visual inspection to ensure the floor has been correctly sanded. Always sand towards the source of light, never across or diagonally from it. The light will pick up any imperfections when sanded in any other direction. The sand glider can also be used to polish floorboards. Once the floor has been sanded and treated with stain, polish or varnish, simply fit the correct buffing discs and run the sand glider over the boards to bring out the natural beauty of the wood and to help lock in the surface finish. Release the on-off levers and unplug the sander. Remove and dispose of the dust bag and clean the sand glider. Neatly coil the flex ready to return it back to your nearest HSS higher branch.